Damn. That's the sixth nightmare in a row. My name is Nicholas Redding. I think I'm losing my mind. For most people, Easter is a time of new beginnings, joy, and something about a rabbit or shit like that. For me, however, Easter is a time of agony and fear. And all because of the Easter shark. I walk among my fellow students and see their happy faces. I envy their happiness. Thoughts of the Easter shark plague my mind every second of the day. I can't even concentrate on my schoolwork, which I very much did before the thoughts of the Easter shark came around, Mom. I feel so empty and weak. I can't eat. I can't drink. I can't even sleep. I can't live. I tried to browse the web for any website to tell me about the Easter shark, but they all deny its existence. I think the world is against me. What are you doing? I'm researching the Easter shark. Really? This again? Look, the Easter shark exists, all right? I saw him with my own eyes. Are you kidding me? He does not exist. He exists as much as... Sprinkles the Elf exists! Now listen here! Sprinkles the Elf exists, alright? He he slapped me and, and told me to put a candy cane up Satan's ass! He even looks like you! You know what? You're insane! I'm fighting my own friends. I mean, yes, it is Kevin Best that I yelled at, and he occasionally deserves a good yelling at now and then. But the principle remains. As a last-ditch effort, I go to the library to see if there's anything about this monster. Godsend. The History of the Easter Shark by Leonard Malton The book says that the Easter Shark is a figure of Babylonian mythology. King Nebuchadnezzar called upon the gods to create the most beautiful animal they could for his wife. The animal would be a combination of a dolphin and a bunny. The gods created it, and indeed it was the most beautiful animal in all creation. However, the Babylonian trickster god Mark Goldstein cursed the animal and replaced the dolphin with a great white shark. The creature was so terrifying that it brought about an age of darkness and despair that ended the once mighty Babylonian Empire. There have been only four people that claim they saw the Easter shark since. Pliny the Younger, Benvenuto Cellini, William Shakespeare, and Erwin Rommel. Legends say that the victims of the Easter Shark are plagued by a week of horrifying nightmares. On the eighth night, the shark attacks. My god, I don't have much time. Want some chocolate? Have a happy Easter! Today is the day I die. I am currently going home with my mother. She has no idea what will befall me tonight. She wouldn't believe my story, no one does. But I've seen him two times already, and he is very much real. I wish it was day forever.
My face! You freaking hit me, man! Yeah, you know, every freaking year I come and I bring you your freaking baskets of, of chocolate and, and Reese's and crap like that, and every freaking year you freak out and now you freaking hit me in the face. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't have to deal with this anymore. I'm done. I'm done, 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 done. Screw you. But, but, but wait, Miss, Mr. Easter Shark, what about my Reese's? You want your freaking Reese's? Here's your freaking Reese's! Ow! <sighs> Goddamn kids. Mr. Easter Shark, wait, 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 wait. Look, I know we haven't been seeing eye to eye, it's just you have a very suspenseful way of doing things. I mean, why were you freaking crawling through my freaking bed, all right? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Okay, okay. Look, I'm sorry, all right? How about this, okay? You get me your Reese's, I get you a beer, and we have a good time, all right? Meh. Sure, why not? All right. Here comes Peter Cotton Shark, swimming down the Easter Park. Oh no, look out, Easter's on its way. Gifting every kid round here, a basket full of Easter fear. Things to make your Easter scary day. Hi, Mom. The Easter Shark and I would just like to wish you a happy 52nd birthday. May your future days be very fine and very dandy. Happy birthday! Now eat your freaking cake! <laughs>